Today on Running to Him. We will be reading Psalms 79 and 80. When I began writing these devotions almost 11 years ago, we would just read the Psalms on Sunday and concentrate on the hymns of the Old Testament. I want to go back to that tradition. So today, we will read Psalms 79 and 80, and we will go through every Psalm in 59 weeks at my projected pace. Psalm 79. O God, the nations have invaded your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the dead bodies of your servants for food to the birds of the heavens, the flesh of your godly ones to the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors, a scoffing and derision to those around us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the nations which do not know you, and upon the kingdoms which do not call upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob, and laid waste to its habitation. Do not remember the iniquities of our forefathers against us. Let your compassion come quickly to meet us, for we have wrought very well. Help us, God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, Where is their God? Let there be known among the nations in our sight vengeance for the blood of your servants, which has been shed. Let the groaning of the prisoner come before you, according to the greatness of your power. Preserve those who are doomed to die, and return to our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom the reproach which you have reproached you. So we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. To all generations we will tell of your praise. Psalm 80 O give ear, shepherd of Israel, you who eat Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned above the cherubim, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your power and come to save us. O God, restore us and cause your face to shine upon us, and we will be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with the prayer of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears, and you have made them drink tears in large measure. And you make us the object of contention to our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. O God of hosts, restore us and cause us your face to shine upon us, and we will be saved. You removed a vine from Egypt, and you drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground before it, and took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God with its bows. And it was sending out its branches to the sea, and shoots to the river. Why have you broken down its hedges, so that all who pass that way pick its fruit? A boar from the forest eats away, and whatever moves in the field feeds on it. O God of hosts, turn again now, we beseech you. Look down from heaven and see, and take care of his wine, even the shoot which your right hand has planted, and on the sun whom you have strengthened for yourself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon your son of man, whom you have made strong for yourself. Then we shall not turn back from you. Revive us, and we will call upon your name. O Lord God of hosts, restore us. Cause your face to shine upon us, and we will be saved. May you have a blessed, blessed Sunday. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.